Alvarez, and you're listening to Talking Brawl. Delighted to welcome on the show um, this man. Uh, doesn't have a fight announced, but obviously uh, there's been a bit of back and forth with him and James Gallagher uh, over the last number of weeks. Uh, it is one of the top talents of Bellator MMA featherweight division, uh, Mr. AJ McKee. AJ, first of all, my friend, good to catch up with you again. How are things with you, my friend? I'm doing fantastic, man. Just training, staying busy, and and living life, you know, one good, day at a time. Good stuff, my friend. Last time we spoke, um, it was obviously over here when you were at Anthony Taylor. Um, cornering him um, for his fight against James Gallagher. Um, you've obviously had a fight since then against Brandon Phillips. How, how, first of all, I want to get your thoughts on that performance. How did you assess that performance? Uh, it was a good fight for Anthony. You know, he did he did great. He did a lot uh, a lot better than a lot of people expected him to. But uh, at the same time, we we knew Anthony had had a, a, a big shot at that fight especially on his feet. So uh, standing up and, and really trying to slug it out with him and bringing the pressure was was great. You know, I just, there was a couple little mistakes we wanted to correct, but we didn't have much time to. And uh, it, was, it was still a great performance, you know, great performance, great experience. And it was a great show for everybody. Definitely. And you're you're just coming off that win against Brandon Phillips as well. How, was, how did you feel about your own performance in that fight at Bellator 171? Um... It wasn't that it wasn't where it should have been, but uh, I don't know. It's been going through a little bit of things, but uh, everything's back on track now. I'm back in the gym. Got to get away a little bit, have a couple of little vacations, and uh, I'm back on the grind and, and training, training harder than ever again. D- definitely is. Are, are you fit? Because last time you were over in Dublin, you had a few knocks and injuries. Is everything good with the body? Oh yeah. I had, uh, that was kind of one of the things as well with that last fight. Um, I didn't plan on fighting for a while, and then I ended up taking a fight three weeks before the fight, and I was like, oh, well, screw it, you know? I'll go in there and fight. So, uh, yeah, now I'm I'm better than ever again, you know, both my thumbs are healed up again. Um, I'm just, just grinding, you know, staying prepared, staying ready. Good stuff. I don't know if you saw James's uh, performance last weekend. Um, against Kirill Medvedovsky. Did, did you get the chance to watch the fight? Uh, yeah, I watched it after somebody called me. What did you think um, of the performance from James? I mean, it's, it was all right. You know, it was, it was all right. Same basic James, you know. He gets in trouble. He wants to try to get to somebody's back and finish him with a rear naked choke. But, uh, hey, it wins a win. You know, you can't knock it. What did you make of uh, James's comments? He had a lot to say about you um, after the fight in Dublin. Uh, there was a number of comments he made um, in relation to Anthony Taylor. He said that you gave Anthony Taylor's game plan before the fight here in Dublin. Yeah, he, he said that I gave him his game plan. I told him that the game plan was to take him down, and everybody knew Anthony was not going to take him down because Anthony's not a wrestler. But uh, it, it was... I don't know, man. He's, he, he's the one that started talking his little smack, and then I'm like, you know, like, of, of course I'm going to try to be cool with you in your gym. You got fucking you and every single teammate. I want to see him come over here and come in my gym and mouth off. We would have beat that dude's ass like a rag doll, you know? Like, when, when you're in somebody else's gym, of course you respect that, you know? Yeah. But uh, as far as him, you know, like, whatever, he told me I was next. So I told him, I was like, you're going to regret those words. And literally, still to this day, I'm going to make him regret those words. So uh, now that he's finally, finally got a little agitated or irritated with me, he wants to start firing back again. You know, he, he's done a couple of little interviews talking about he'll fight me and all this other stuff. And I'm like, well, you said I was next. Sign the contract. Where's the contract? Like, I'm waiting for the contract, you know? Like, I, I know Bellator don't want me to whoop his ass, so they're, they're not going to, like, just, hey, here you go, AJ, you said your neck, that's what he said, like, go whoop his ass now. So, uh, now that now that he's agreed to fight me, hopefully he can get that contract signed and, and send it back over, and then I'll, I'll legally be able to damn near murder him in that cage. Is it something maybe you've been trying to manufacture this fight? by some of the things maybe not really I just I just don't like being disrespected and you know your first impression is, is, is a big impression to me so his 
his first impression was shit. You walk up to somebody you don't even know and say you're next. Maybe, maybe in relation, maybe, maybe in relation to some of, uh, you know, you were in a lot of the interviews. You were sort of jumping in a lot of James's interviews over in Dublin. I think it was something he was he was quite irritated by. Um, is it something maybe that you've had in the back of your mind that this fight was potentially going to happen along the line? Really, for the interviews, like I'm always a clown, you know. I'm always messing with people, hopping in people's interviews. That's just me. I mess with everybody. You know, I'm just I'm a big kid. You know, I'm always joking around, playing, and I'm not really I'm not a shit talker either. But uh, when you bring it out of me, there's there's a whole another beast you have to deal with when you when you do fire me up. And I think James is gonna realize he fucked up when he did that. How do you feel about him calling? Uh, you know, he said he, he believes that you're not willing to fight him. He believes you're 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 not going to show up if the contracts are put down. If I wasn't willing to fight him, I wouldn't have said all the things I've said, and I wouldn't have been calling him out since however long ago. I think he's scared to fight. Matter of fact, I know he's scared to fight. He's talking about how this, that, he's going to whoop my ass. and blah, blah, blah. Like, I'm like, come on, dude. You don't even believe that yourself. And they, then he's talking about the whole Connor situation. I'm like, okay, cool, dude. You, you think you're, you're Connor. You're not Connor, you know? The, the difference between Connor and I is we live for this shit, you know? We wake up in the morning, we go run two miles, three miles. Then we go to practice. Like, we live, eat, breathe, and sleep this shit. It's all we do. Like, I, I don't think he's realized what type of work it takes to, to really get to that level. I've been doing this my entire life. I've been wrestling since I was three, I've been doing jujitsu since I was like seven. So for me, it's like, man, like I've already put in a lot of work, you know, and I haven't really been that, that serious about it, but I still put in the work and the time. So now that I'm really locking down and, and putting in the work to take that step to the next level, it's, it's, it's going to be a force to be wrestling with, especially just because my last couple of fights, I was seeing the work that I needed to put in, but I didn't want to put it in. And now it's like I, I got that fire back to put in that work. So uh, it, it's going it, to it's gonna be a very bad night for James when he steps in that cage. You look at... If he steps in. Why, why do you believe James doesn't want to step in uh, the cage with you? Because it's taken him how long just to even reply back about now he's agreeing to fight. He's, he's full of shit, you know? He's he's completely full of shit. He's going DMing me, talking about you're a pussy. And then I'm like, yo, dude, get out my DM. Like, I'll send you the DM. He's talking about you're a pussy, this, that. I'm like, dude, you suck. Like, you're not who you think you are. Yet... All of a sudden, I'm like, just sign the contract, James. He's like, what contract? There is no contract. I'm like, you sign a contract before every fucking fight. There is two a contract. If you want to fight, get to fight. You know? If two fighters agree to fight, I'm pretty sure even if Bellator doesn't want the fight to happen, it'll happen. Why? Because those two fighters want to fight. On some modern-day gladiator stuff, if two fighters want to fight, and they're well-known fighters, let them fight. It'll be a great show. Do you think it's something Bellator want to happen, as you said there, because obviously you're both, uh, you know, young guys, you're both very talented fighters. Do you think Bellator um, are, are going to let this fight happen and, and maybe get the contracts together for you and James to sign? Um, definitely at this point, you know. Now that he has finally agreed to take the fight, I, I definitely think Bellator will write a contract up and, and, and let him sign it. Um, at first, just me telling him, hey, give him a contract. He wants to fight. He's talking this shit. He's sliding in my DM. Give him a contract. They didn't want to believe it. But now that they've seen what he's saying and he's, he's went out on national television and called me out, I think, I think they'll definitely give him that contract. So uh, we'll, 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 we'll be very close to it. And then it's funny. He just got out of a fight and he wants to fight in May. You need two months to prepare for this ass whooping? Like, Man, let's let's fight very soon. I'm ready to fight next week. So uh, that that was just that was him showing me even more how much he's scared. You know, it takes him how long to prepare for this fight? Another two months after you just got out of a training camp? Let's just fight. Where where do you feel? You know, looking at James's performance, um, and the way James fights, where do you feel as though 
the key aspects will be for you in a fight against James? Um, honestly, wherever I want it to be. Um, I, he, I don't think he can – well, I know he can't take me down. Um, I've been wrestling too long, uh, standing up. I feel like my stand-up is 10 times better and more unique than his. So uh, it just – it depends what AJ's feeling in that case and, and what he wants to do. Do you, do you feel, you know, looking at this as well, obviously, you know, James made those comments at the weekend. He said he wants to do the fight in London because there's obviously a huge, huge card in London. Would that be a good platform for, for you and James to, to fight on that card? Obviously, a big, big name like Rory McDonald and Paul Daly. Um, it, The other people don't matter to me that are on that card, you know. I'm, I'm going to be the one that's making that card, and I'm going to be the one making that fight entertaining. So, uh, for me, it doesn't really matter where we fight, but... uh. I feel like maybe he wants to fight in London because he knows I'm going to have to finish him over there. But uh, that's the plan regardless. Go out there and knock his ass out. James has been obviously you know, heavily promote, promoted from Bellator. He's been very good at the fight promotion himself. Um, you know, you're a guy who speaks your mind as well. You know, why does this fight appeal to you so much now? Um, well, it started with the disrespect and then it started to... Then it started to, like, okay, this guy's on this high horse, and he thinks he's, like, the, the stupid face of Bellator, this, this super young superstar. And I'm like, hey, buddy, you need to realize you're not the only one, and there are people out here better than you that will literally show you you're not who you are. And I think everyone's just getting tired of him thinking he's this, this macho badass. So now it's, it's time for somebody to do the shutting up. And he's talking about how, oh, he's fighting grown men, this, that, grown men, that. Dude, I'm a year older than you, and I'm fighting the same grown men as you. You don't hear me complaining, you know? You go in there, and you do a job. As a professional athlete, that's the risk you took going pro at a young age. So I don't want to hear any excuses of, of who's young, who's old, and whatnot, you know? Go in there, fight, and leave it all in that cage, point blank, period. <laughs> all right, I'm coming, Dad. <laughs> your data I'll get to that in one second I uh, do appreciate the time um, has there been any contact from Bellator MMA about the potential of this fight happening since last uh, Friday night um, no not yet so hopefully uh, they contact me this within this week if not I'll be definitely contacting them by next week um, I honestly don't really care to fight in London I mean it'll be a good show to fight in but uh I was thinking maybe we go to Italy April or something. I, I don't really care. I'm trying to get this fight on as soon as possible, you know? I'm ready to just slap that dude in his face and give him a nice cush slap. But uh, who knows? If he, needs, if he needs two and a half months to get prepared for that fight, whatever, I'll give him his little time. You're brilliant. Yeah, it's a, it's a fight I think everyone wants to happen now with the, the back and forth and obviously two very... Um, Hot talents in Bellator MMA. Get your thoughts on that. Obviously, you're speaking to your dad there. Um, you told me last time that your dad might be getting back in there. Is that still going to be the case or going to happen? Who, my dad and I? No, you said your dad's maybe going to get back in the cage and have a fight. Oh, yeah. We're definitely going to do a, a father-son fight, you know. And that's 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 just uh, another thing on my, on my uh, bucket list of checking off, you know, just to go down in the history books. And to be able to do things that no one's ever done before. Brilliant. That'll be awesome. Um, you've also been calling out, uh, you know, Daniel Strauss quite a lot. Obviously, that's on the back burner with James um, in your eye line at the moment. Um, how do you feel about um, that situation? He's obviously that fight announced to Patrizio Pitbull uh, coming up as well. Um, Strauss, is, he's the champ, you know. He's the man. So, uh, at the end of the day, that's that's my goal right yeah. there, you know. Anybody else is just a stepping stone. Um I feel like James has stepped down from that, but uh, hey, it's a fight that people want to see. It's a fight I'm I'm willing to give them, and it's a fight I'm willing to take as long as he's willing to sign that contract. So that's that's the main thing everybody's waiting on is that contract. Uh, when do we uh, expect okay, to see this fight happen? Um, hopefully it'll happen the latest. It'll happen the latest. Like he said, May. Um, I'd, I'd like to see it happen in April, you know. I want to go back to Italy, so uh, April in Italy, that'd be a nice a nice place to fight too, you know. There's no 
there's no big names really on that card, so I feel that'd be a great a great card to really go out there and, and take over, you know? Definitely. I hope it, uh, it happens. It's been a real pleasure to have you on the show. I do appreciate the time, AJ. Um, look forward to seeing that fight happen. I'm uh, catch up with you then when the fight's going to go down. Appreciate the time. All right. Thanks for having me, man. God bless and uh, be safe. Thanks, man. Cheers. And that was-